Oi, what has happened here? Moro! <laughs> Moro! Oi, that's not good. Internet. It is 8 o'clock in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome here at uh, Camp Corny, uh, here right at the border between Namibia and Angola. Let's first have some breakfast and then I will tell you everything about the plan for today. So this is for breakfast today. It looks absolutely amazing. And well, I'm overlooking the river here with the sun coming up. So pretty good start of the day. I just realized that I totally forgot to take out the map and show you uh, where I am going today and that sort of thing. So uh, when I arrive I, I will show you the map but um, I can also just explain because where I really want to go is a place um, just south of the Itosha National Park but it's about 500 kilometers, no it's more, I think 520 of which a lot is unpaved. So I decided it will not be nice to do that in one day. That will just be rushing it. So I decided to split it up. So that basically that means that today I am just riding back to Opuo via a different route. So now I'm just continuing alongside uh, the border here with Angola. And at some point I'll cut to the right and then ride back to Opuo. Stay the night there. And then in the next ride right to that place um, close to Itosha. So that's the plan. But uh, from here to Opuo, it's less than 200 k's. And then the other ride is a little bit longer, but it should be all fine. So yeah, it's a beautiful morning. Beautiful day for riding. And I mean, Look at this, isn't this just incredible? Unbelievable. It's a shame though that you see so many dead palms. Like what you see, like that palm, and then you see all those dead palms. And if you look closely, I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but I can see like little sticks sticking out of those dead palm trees and what's going on there is that people um, collect palm wine so what they do is they stick those little foot pegs in the palm like that then they climb all the way to the top and then they cut off the top of the palm and all the juices that are inside the tree they will flow out and it actually contains alcohol they call it palm wine but the problem is that the tree immediately dies and they get, I think, about four or five liters of palm wine out of one tree. But the tree takes about 30 years to grow that tall. So it's just, uh, yeah. So really, it's a shame. It's, it's now actually illegal. So if you're caught doing that, um, I think you get a fine. Because uh, it doesn't seem to be worth a tree growing for 30 years that you kill it for four or five liters of uh, alcohol. Some people living here. This must be to keep the animals in. I've heard that there's actually a lot of people from Angola at the moment crossing the border into Namibia. Because in the south of Angola, there's obviously the same drought as they have here. So the people there also struggle. And um, this river is not so deep and at some point there's a lot of like rocks so you can just illegally uh, cross the border. So every now and then there's a police setting up camp, Namibian police setting up camp here to uh, keep an eye on like 
illegal immigration here. Proper hill climb. Eee. Oh. Fantastic. Look at those mountains there. Then the mountains of Angola. Beautiful. What a stark contrast, huh? So close to the river you get all the palms and then on this side it's just dry with like these small trees. Another river, dry river, crossing. What an incredibly beautiful ride it is. Stunning. I haven't seen anyone yet. Wow, some grass. It's been a while. Okay, here I'm crossing the Omdata River. Oh, river. It's almost dry as well. Let me see how to do this. Just follow these tracks. And then I probably have to go that way. Entirely sure, to be honest. I think so. I think you can't go straight here. I have to go this way. And here. And then trucks go here but I'm not sure oh, I think that way it's hard to figure out where people cross here. I see tracks there, but I also, yeah, I think it's this way. Up here. And then up here, I think. Must be. This way. And then some tracks here come on Savannah yes did it <laughs> yes oh lots of dogs Well, the dogs are definitely less vicious here than in South America. A 
most of them they just leave me alone which is nice right here this is my turn off here I'm going to take a right turn please let me pass <laughs> thank you What has happened here? Moro! <laughs> Moro! Oi, that's not good. Is help is coming? Okay, good. Okay, good luck. What is it this time? Another one in trouble. I think they already have somebody. You good? Yes? Okay. Okay, it's time to fill up my tank with my last uh, spare petrol because I'm almost empty and it's still 55 kilos to go to uh, Opuwo. So I'm just gonna stick that last three liters in. What a relaxed ride today. I'm really quite enjoying it and yeah, because it's not very far, I don't feel like I have to hurry or anything. I can just take my time. Quite some vehicles in trouble on the side of the road. But everybody is helping each other out, it seems. So it's always good to see. people are collecting uh, firewood around here these are all women from the Demba tribe have different clothing than the himbas. They don't use that uh, red ochre paste. Oh, puo. And it's paved. The 
these are all Demba people. I'm going to stay again at the same place. That was really nice. So this is a Herrero lady with the headdress. Home sweet home. And I am back in the same room here in the guest house, uh, which is nice. Um, as promised, I was just going to show you kind of uh, the route of the last uh, two rides. I'm now back here in Opuo. So in the previous ride, I did this, I think. I went like that. And then I rode alongside the border with Angola until somewhere here. Um, and then I stayed at Camp Corny. And then this morning I left from there. Actually, I think the route is not on there. I don't know, I think I went something like this. Yeah, I, I probably did this. And then, back to Opuo, something like that. So today was quite a short ride, a short episode, but uh, for me personally, that was actually uh, quite nice. <laughs> and I think the next ride is going to be longer and I think super cool again, because in the next ride, I'm very, very likely to see a whole bunch of wildlife again from the bike, from Savannah. So I am really, really looking forward to that. Um, but that will be in the next video. So I really hope you liked this one, if you did, Please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.